Yeah, um, again, 16th of January 21, Saturday, while well, I uh, found a place in the Bible that um, really pressured me. And um, as you may know, um, satanic worship or Baal worshiping is one of my favorite uh, subjects in the Bible. Well, because of this experience I had, while well, I was first thinking, well, this is not the right time um, to talk about my experience, um, maybe not for the 20th of uh, January, uh, because there are more important things to do. Um, well, of course, uh, uh, increase the hope of the people a little bit, uh, don't tell so many cruel things. Well, but to read in the Bible, I hope it is okay for you. It is about uh, King Jehu, um, when he came into Samaria and he cleaned up all this uh, dirt there. You know, there was a, a wicked woman, uh, her name was Jezebel, and uh, there was another king in Samaria and they thought, well, we will reign over Israel and uh, we give a damn ship, ship, shit on Jerusalem, you know, we do it our way and uh, well, and there was a clean up and uh, it was made by King Jehu when I uh, read the second book of uh, Kings and uh, it is chapter 9 and uh, just uh, to show you how they um, brought uh, the law of Moses uh, back to Samaria and um, when well, I uh, start with chapter 9 uh, second book of Kings and Elisha the prophet called one of the children of the prophets and said unto him gird up the loins and take this box of oil in thine hand and go to Ramot Gilead uh, in thine means in your hand so this is a King James Bible uh, um, old words, old English words you know uh, verse 2 and when thou comest Vita look out there Jehu the son of Jehos Safat the son of Nimji and go in and make him arise up from among his brethren, brethren, brothers, and carry him to an inner chamber. Then take the box of oil and pour it on his head, and say, Thus said the Lord, I have anointed the king over Israel. Then open the door and flee and tarry not. So the young man, even the young man, the prophet, went to Ramoth Gilead, and when he came, behold, the captains of the host were sitting, and he said, I have an errand to thee, a captain, O captain. And Jehu said, Unto which of all us? And he said, To thee, O captain. So you, you are the one. And he arose and went into the house, and he poured the oil on his head, and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, God of Israel, I have anointed the king over the people of the Lord, even over Israel, and thou shalt smite the house of Ahab, the master, that I may avenge blood of my servants, the prophets, and the blood of all the servants of the Lord at the hand of Jezebel. Yeah, so it was a tradition, uh, so they poured oil over the head of the uh, new king, so that means, uh, well, also Messiah means uh, a kind of uh, somebody who is oiled, who has, uh, well, so he was chosen as a new king, and um, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't find the words I want to say, 
uh, because my English is not so good. Well, of course, um, so they choose Jehu um, as a new king of Israel, and uh, now uh, that was really uh, clean up, and um, now I'm reading in chapter 10, starting verse 17. And when he came to Samaria, he slew all that remained unto Ahab in Samaria, till he had destroyed him, according to the saying of the Lord, which he spake to Elia. And Jehu gathered all the people together, and said unto them, Ahab served Baal a little, but Jehu shall serve him much. Now therefore call unto me all the prophets of Baal, all his servants, and all his priests, that none be wanting, for I have a great sacrifice to do Baal, whose whoever shall be wanting, he shall not live. But Jehu did it in subtlety, uh, subtlety, so he was tricky, uh, to the intent that he might destroy the worshippers of Baal. And Jehu said, Proclaim a solemn assembly for Baal. And they proclaimed it. And Jehu sent through all Israel, and all the worshippers of Baal came, so that there was not a man left that came not. And they came into the house of Baal, and the house of Baal was full from one end to another. And he said unto him that was over the vestry, Bring forth vestments for all the worshippers of Baal. And he brought them forth vestments. And Jehu went and Yehonadad, Yehonadab, uh, the son of Rehab, into the house of Baal, uh, where Re yeah, and said unto the worshippers of Baal, Search and look that there be here with you none of the servants of the Lord, but the worshippers of Baal only. And when they went in to offer sacrifice and burnt offerings, ye who appointed fourscore men without, and said, If any of the men whom I have brought into your hands escape, he that let it him go, his life shall be for the life of him. So if anybody would es let escape somebody, he will die also. Well, he must say this because they had so many, um, you know, there was also corruption. <laughs> and uh, going on with verse 25, and it came to pass as soon as he had made an end, of offering the burnt offering that Jehu said to the guard and to the captains, Go in and slay them, let none come forth. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and the guard, the guard and the captains cast them out and went to the city of the house of Baal. And they brought forth the image images out of the house of Baal and burned them. And they break down the image of Baal and break down the house of Baal and made it broad house unto his day. Thus Jehu destroyed Baal out of Israel. So that was verse 28. I, I stop here and well it shows you that um, Sometimes um, kings, they use a tricky way uh, for clean up something, and so Jehu did. And, well, I, I love this place because, um, you know, uh, because of my own history. Um, well, I, I, uh, I don't want to go in detail in this video, but, uh, well, so they, um, well, they destroyed all this Baal worshippers, uh, where they killed them, um, there was no other way uh, to live with them. Uh, the problem is that this Baal 
power this Baal worshipping uh, was a very um, well if, if somebody is infected by this plague um, well in another video I read about a book of Moses when they were in the uh, des in the desert of Sinai they killed uh, what was it 24,000 people um, all with a sword because it is a real plague if it is already in the brain this uh, this uh, blood thirst or this uh, it is a real plague and um, it is um, well if you let them live they will organize another time or maybe fight back and you know it is um, this Baal worshipping is a real problem because um, they don't regret uh, anything because they think it is their right uh, to slaughter children and in the time of the Old Testament I think it was not possible to bring all of them uh, into into jail but I would say in our time we have better way um, I think we are more, we are humans, aren't we? You know, um, so maybe some of them can be um, healed, maybe uh, with a therapy. Maybe some are only in it uh, for I don't know. Maybe not everybody is uh, is uh, real sick, or maybe some of them can be healed, but um, we can't allow them to stay as an organization over us, you know, no way. And uh, well, this shows you that um, there, were, there were kings in, in Israel uh, that were fighting against this Baal uh, priests and uh, well, also um, King David uh, did and unfortunately the son of David, uh, Solomon, he, he fell back because he had so many women. I read it, I read it also in another video um, so the women turned his head his ha heart away from God and uh, brought them so this so he loved so many women and uh, he had women from other nations so all other nations uh, around uh, Israel they they continued uh, this Baal worshiping and it came many times back uh, to Israel but uh, this time uh, this Jehu king um, destroyed, destroyed uh, this whole Baal worshipping and uh, out of Israel so they had really uh, success and uh, you know um, very tricky uh, to say well this Ahab, well this Ahab king he was not a good uh, Baal man or good Baal worshipper I'm better I make a real Baal party come all over here, <laughs> you know, I invite you and then he invited all this Baal uh, worshippers and they thought, well, I, now it's a real, real good Baal time here and then uh, closed the door and then got them all, <laughs> you know, that was, uh, I love this place and, uh, well, I think uh, there are also today uh, tricky people uh, that they can um, that they know how their how our enemies um, think and how they can be brought into a trap. I I I'm quite sure, I'm quite sure. And I just read this here um, to give you a little bit hope. And see you next video.